What's going on, Hit Squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back. Once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all lost jury, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Saturday, Saturday, October 2nd. And as I say each and every video, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. If you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter or Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Hitman Miyagi YT. How to spell the Facebook channel is down in the description box below just in case you guys want to uh, follow me there. I do post her location as soon as I can. It's not always as soon as she switches, but I try. Um, Madame Nazar's location. Today, she's up here above Valentine, above Cumberland Forest, right here at the Word Window Rock on your map. Right here below the Word Window Rock, she sits right here for today until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone. For those of you who don't know her, not of America, how I personally get to her location is I simply fast travel to Valentine, run up through Cumberland Forest, and when I get to about right here where the this dotted line is, this is a the dotted line is a trail. I go along that trail and I go across the water here and to her location. That's to me. That's the quickest way to get to her. If not, you have to go through all kinds of hills and mountains and train tracks and all kinds of other stuff to get to her from other locations. As far as I know, there may be easier ways, but I don't know. Um, the next thing I want to get to is the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle, which today that is between the R and R. Eye of Springs of Cholo Springs right here at this location. It is right here and it will be here on the ground in front of a tent. It's in the dirt, so make sure you go, go and grab that. Also, if you guys are in the area or to get here, just simply fast travel to Armadillo and run up to this location. Just take that simple route right there because it should put you over here in this area. And just take it down and around to this location right here. Um, the, if you guys do go get that, there are two things inside this house or around this house. The one thing that's inside the house is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a boar bristle brush. This boar bristle brush is inside a chest to the left side of the house soon as you walk, walk in through the entrance. And behind the house, there's a hay wagon. And on that hay wagon, you will get a Nine of Swords tarot card as well. So, why not? Why not go grab all that stuff? Um, let's get over here to where we normally do business, which is the Lemoyne area of the map. I try to zoom in on everything, but, you know, some things get knocked out. <laughs> um, the cycles for today... Saturday, October 2nd are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Lost Jury Cycle 2, Coin Cycle 2, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 1, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 2, All Tarot Card Cycle 1, Bird Egg Cycle 3, and Fossils Cycle 1. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there for you guys. The cycles. A link to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and cash out for the channel. Let's get to these things that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map real quick. Starting with one that I didn't mark. We're going to go up here right where this triangle is. If you guys can see that right above that triangle, right about here, uh, here. There's a wagon and right on the ground at the back of the wagon, you guys should see a Grand Corazon antique alcohol bottle. Just simply grab that and let's go about our journey. 
let's, let's go over here to this marker right here. I usually go down here to this uh, elimination series, but you guys can just go over, over the train tracks and over to this location. Right here, there's a dig spot. In this dig spot, in this dig spot, there's a metal hairpin, which is a family heirloom. You do not need your metal detector, but you do need a shovel. Let's go over to this house right here. This is a stilt house right here by the H of Marsh. Right here inside the house, there's a family heirloom. The family heirloom is a tortoiseshell comb. It's in the house on the wash table. If you guys go outside the house and underneath the house, pull out your metal detector and you guys will hit on a random coin. I cannot tell you guys what coin it is because it is randomized. Let's go down for another thing that I don't have marked right about here. Pull out your metal detector right about here at this location. If you guys can line it up right here, there's a spot for a random fossil. I cannot tell you guys what fossil it is because it is randomized as well. Let's go over by the N, not the NWA, but down here, the big N. <laughs> right here, right above the N, you guys will get a bird egg. This bird egg is a heron egg, H-E-R-O-N. It's in a tree. Shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. Right here next to the U is another fossil. Right here at this location, pull out your metal detector once again. And you guys will get another random fossil. I cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized. Uh, inside this house, in the chimney, walk up to the chimney. You should get a prompt to search it and you will pull out a Durant Pearl bracelet. This Durant Pearl bracelet is a lost jury. When this lost jury is here, there's also a lost jury right about here near this the big tree that's in the backyard of this house or yard of this yard <laughs> right here at this location you guys will get a random lost jury i cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized but remember go near the base of this tree with your metal detector and that's what you would dig up um let's go over a little bit over in this area about here and there's a bird egg this bird egg Bird egg is a egret egg, E-G-R-E-T. It's in the tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game over in this area somewhere. So look for it, use your eagle eye and look around if you do want to grab that. Over here by this Y in this claw shaped island type situation, <laughs> inside this abandoned convenience store on the counter, you guys will get a old time gin antique alcohol bottle right here at this location. Let's uh, go over. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. <laughs> Let's go over to the right underneath the E inside this mansion. I think this is the governor's mansion. If not, I'm not mistaken. Right here inside this front room here, there's a line of chairs right on that first chair, I think maybe the second chair. There's a three-seater bench right here at this location. And on that bench, you guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairpin. So remember to grab that. There's also a tarot card right here above the eye of Saint right here. There's a white table on that white table. There's a chessboard. On that chessboard, you guys will get a eight of swords tarot card. And let's go over a little bit more to the cemetery right here at this location. You guys will get another antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a absinthe bottle. That's A-B-S-I-N-T-H-E. It's right here inside this mausoleum. Go through the gate. Go towards the back where there's a shelf. And you should be able to grab the absinthe antique alcohol bottle from it. If you don't have too many. Let's go down to our next marker, which is the cardinal flower that spawns over here in this area each and every day. And by its exact location, it tells me exactly what cycle the flowers are on. And today is cycle one. If you guys do want to come over here to 
inside this structure here, there's a overturn barrel. And right at the edge of that overturn barrel, you guys will get a cognac antique alcohol bottle. You don't have to dig or anything for it, you just grab it. Um, before we go down here, if you guys do want to come across here and to this uh, mansion or house here, there's a family heirloom, which is a New Guinea rosewood hairbrush. It's on the back porch of this mansion on the table, right there at that location. If you guys want to grab that. But let's go down here to this next marker. This next marker is at the edge of this cotton field or whatever you want to call it. I think it is a cotton field. Right at the edge of it, right at the end, very end of it, you should see a, um, a notification or like some kind of indication that there's a dig spot here. You do not need your metal detector, but you do need your shovel. Use your eagle eye and you should see the indication. There's a dig spot here. This dig spot is a random arrowhead. I cannot tell you what arrowhead you would dig up, but that's what's right here at this marker. Uh, inside the Braithwaite Manor home, there's two items. One is a tarot card. The tarot card is on the ground floor on top of the piano in the corner of the, the I think it's like the living room on the ground floor. There's also a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a cherry wood comb. It's upstairs in a room with a chest at the foot of the bed. I think there's two rooms with a chest at the foot of the bed, but you kind of got to search for it is around in this location of the house. So make sure you go see about that. And let's go up the roads where I have a couple things for you guys. One, well, a couple tarot cards, really. Um, one, there's a tarot card here on the second floor on the table next to the rocking chair. You got to go up the stairs and look for the rocking chair and the table. Uh, I think the dog be up there, too. I'm not sure. There's also another tarot card right here at this location on a bench. And this tarot card is a two of wands. And right across the way from the fence, there's a table with a bucket of water. And right next to that bucket of water, you guys will get a 10 of cups tarot card. Uh, I have a couple more things for you. One is inside this house, right inside this tall green wardrobe. There's a ebony hairbrush inside the house. And right here underneath the railroad, I try to mark it over to the right a little bit so you guys know that it's down. Under This is underneath the railroad right here at this location. Come over here with your metal detector and you will dig up another random coin. I cannot tell you guys what coin it is because it is randomized. So make sure you go and grab that. Um, One more thing that I, I like to go get personally. There's a well, go right down that well jump down the well climb down pull out your metal detector and you guys will hit on another random coin i like to get it when it's in this area just because i get to go down the well i guess <laughs> but that's there right there at that location if you guys want to go get that but that's pretty much it for all the extras that i have for you guys the cycles for today saturday october 2nd once again are Family heirloom cycle two. No, family heirloom cycle three. Sorry about that. Family heirloom cycle three. All luxury cycle two. Coin cycle two. Arrowhead cycle three. Wildflower cycle one. Antique alcohol bottle cycle two. All tarot card cycle one. Bird egg cycle three. And fossils cycle one. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there for you guys. Written out the cycles. A link to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the Twitter, Instagram. Facebook and cash out for the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching, looking, listening, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and everything else you do for the channel. I do appreciate it so, so much. And if you haven't, if you don't, remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you can get each and every video that I put out. Because I put out videos each and every day. Um, I'm going to look into getting a desktop computer. Because every my all the work I'm doing is from a laptop. It's a high powered laptop, but it's not what I need it to be. Um, <laughs> so I'm looking. I'm gonna look into that. See, you know how much I have to spend and stuff like that. But that's my problem. <laughs>
Thank you guys for watching. This is your main man, Hitman, once again with another video. And I'm out.